Hi, my name is Ian Taylor. Um, I play in a band called The Sunshine Factory. And um, I wanted to do a little video um, showing how to set up a floating tremolo on a Jaguar or Jazzmaster for, um, for playing shoegaze style guitar or Clyde guitar or tremolo guitar, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have a lot of people come up to me after shows and ask me, how do you do the tremolo thing? That's really, really cool. And I like, figured it'd be the easiest way for me to show just to uh, do a quick video. Um, anyways, um, this is a uh, Fender Classic Player Jaguar, um, which is really nifty because it has a screw-in tremolo arm. Um, I actually have a, um, a Japanese Jazz Master arm, which is what they gave me at Guitar Center when I first bought this guitar because they had lost the other tremolo arm, uh, which worked out really, really well because this arm actually worked better than the, uh, the Classic Player arm when I finally got one. Um, I actually had to thread that myself, though. Um, anyways, uh, this guitar, this particular guitar is really nifty because the arm can screw in so you don't have any problems with it falling out on stage and it also makes it easier because you can adjust how deep it goes into the body um, you know, which is perfect for setting a guitar up for this kind of playing style um, what needs to happen for you to play guitar like this is the arm has to sit up out far enough from the body and it has to be bent up at an angle so that your hand can sit at, a, at its normal playing um, height so that you can strum and and bend the arm at the same time. There's kind of a technique involved in doing it which I can show you guys but um, anyway um, so basically what I did is screw it in so it's tall enough um, but also the arm itself, here, let's do it like this, the arm itself is bent at two different places so that it can sit up high enough for you to play it. Um, you can get away with bending it just here at the L. Um, I bent it also in the middle, which is just personal preference, but it feels a little bit better to me, more comfortable. Um, this is all personal preference, of course, if that's feels more comfortable to you then you should do it that way um, but basically I just took the bar itself and put it in a vise and this is very very soft metal it's really easy to bend and just bend it right here at the L at an upward angle just bend it a little bit at a time and put it in and tried it out and bend it a little bit at a time and took it out and tried it out again until I got it to where I wanted it and then I put a bend right here as well I believe I started off with just a bend here and then put a bend in the back. But um, it's bent right here in, in the curve of the arm. And it, that just allows it to sit up at the right angle. So when you're strumming, let's see if I can do this while holding this up. <laughs> We'll have a pick, but <laughs> you get the idea. Um, it allows it to sit up at the right angle so you can strum and, and bend notes at the same time. Um, the other thing to making this work is your uh, tremolo spring tension. It has to be loose enough so that it flows smoothly whenever you push, push the arm down. Um, and you do that just by turning, getting a screwdriver and turning this to the left and then tuning your strings back up and slowly dropping the tension on the spring that's inside here until it feels right to you. Otherwise, if the spring is too tight when you try to play, it'll seem kind of jerky and won't flow as nicely as you might want it to. Some people might prefer it tighter. I like it like this. Um, Anyways, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. All, all that's all that's involved in getting it to sit in the right place. Um, as far as the 
hand technique goes, all I'm basically do is just palm, palm down like this while I'm strumming. So you just kind of have to get used to bringing your palm in and out like that, kind of at the wrist. Um, yeah, it takes a little getting used to, but it's not not too troublesome. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, a couple more things. Um, if you're planning on getting a guitar like this, um, a couple of things to look out for when you're trying to get one with the right tremolo system in it is the spring uh, itself. You have to make sure that this, usually from what I've, from my experience, the only ones that are really worth, worth a crap are the, uh, the Fender models. All, all of the other ones are just kind of, uh, jankety in one way or another. Either the, uh, the post that comes out will be too low and won't be, th will be too thick, uh, so that then you're, you have a problem with your bar rubbing up against the strings, um, or the spring will be jankety and won't won't bend properly, you'll never be able to get it loose enough to where it feels right. Um, so that's something to to look out for, for sure. Um, the other thing is, is that if you're using a, a tremolo that doesn't have the screw in on it, um, which I highly recommend, I think you can buy them on eBay, you just have to type in Fender Mexican uh, Jazzmaster tremolo or Jaguar tremolo, and you can get one. Um, all you have to do is put a little bit of tape on the bar itself. I actually have this one taped up for use in another guitar. I have a an Xavier guitar that I use, um, which I'm actually am gonna put a classic player tremolo in, just out of convenience. But um, I just have it taped up to the proper height, which you'll have to do for your particular guitar um, to get it where you want it. And um, yeah, you just put some tape on it. The only bad thing about this is that once you have the tape on it, because it doesn't have the threading, if you're playing on stage and you drop your tremolo arm to do something, you lean forward and then your arm falls out, falls on the stage and you lose it, which has happened to me numerous times, <laughs> more than I'd like to admit. Um, but anyways, those are just a couple of things to look out for when you're getting one of these kind of guitars. Um, thank you guys very much. Um, have a good day.